court is further compelled to find beyond a reasonable doubt that when defendant shot and killed Cameron Lamb, number one, defendant was not acting in lawful self-defense. Number two, defendant was not acting in lawful defense of Sergeant Schwamm. And three, it being conceded that defendant and Sergeant Schwamm were not effecting an arrest of Cameron Lamb or preventing his escape after an arrest, that defendant did not lawfully utilize deadly force as a law enforcement officer under Missouri use of force laws applicable to such officers. The court further finds from the admissible evidence beyond a reasonable doubt that when defendant followed Sergeant Schwamm into the backyard of 4154 College and engaged Cameron Lamb, ultimately shooting and killing him, he did so without considering or being aware of the substantial and unjustifiable risks associated with his conduct, including, but not limited to, the fact that Sergeant Schwamm and he were unlawfully on the property, that they were both escalating a situation that previously had de-escalated, and that their actions created or exacerbated the risk that what ultimately occurred would. The court concludes that this conduct was a gross deviation from the standard of care that a reasonable person would exercise in the situation and constituted criminal negligence, as that phrase is designed, defined rather, under Missouri law. Accordingly, as to count one, in which defendant is charged with the Class C felony of involuntary manslaughter in the first degree, the court finds the defendant guilty of the lesser included offense of involuntary manslaughter in the second degree, a Class E felony. As to count two, the unclassified felony of armed criminal action, the court finds the defendant guilty. A date for sentencing will be determined after further consultation with counsel. The court will order the preparation of a sentencing assessment report. If the defendant chooses to file a motion for new trial, his deadline for doing so is extended 10 days. I will order the defendant remain free on bond pending sentencing. That will be the court's order. Counsel will withdraw their exhibits. Good luck, everybody. So, first and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me the truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The temple of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth and to you I say Shalom hey Shalom to you Akim Shalom to you few sincere Aqua and Shalom to the hopeful elect and uh you know Yahara this lesson will be edifying to someone and I'm gonna say this too man all you niggas out there you know, right I'm gonna say it just like that all you wicked two-third niggas that got a you know that that's that's in love with your oppressor, which is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the devil that the Holy Bible has always spoken of, and that word devil just means a deceiver. This devil went around the whole earth deceiving everybody. And you see that when he came over here, he deceived right the Native American Indians, right? He deceived you so-called blacks, telling you that you was gonna get 40 acres and a mule. All of that, man. He's still deceiving people today. Right? You people out there that love your oppressor, guess what? The most high, he is not dealing with you, man. Right? Let me just get that out of the way for you wicked ass two-thirds, man. Alright? Now I'm gonna say this here about you damn devils. Right? The so-called white man and the so-called white man, you guys have been found guilty, man. You guys have been found guilty on all 
charges. You devils, you Edomites, you guys did messed up, man. You've messed up. You know, you guys, you Edomites are in a lot of trouble, man. You are in a lot of trouble. That might be the name of this lesson, right? You white people are in a lot of trouble. You fucked up, man. Right? And I was just meditating on this today while I was at work, staring at Esau, Edom. Right? Sometimes you can stare at Esau, right? And he see you staring, right? And keep his head down, man. Right? Because he's afraid. And a lot of you devils out there, right? You guys don't know fear yet, man. You don't know fear yet. You still walking around here. You devils still walking around here with your head up high. Let me say something too, man. Every time I do a lesson talking about Esau, Edom, they snatch the lesson down. Right? And your hard rock desire to keep this one up. But you Edomites, you guys done fucked up, man. Right? Wait till we get you in the kingdom. Jake does everything better than you Edomites. Right? You think you did a number on us? Wait till we get the kingdom. We're going to show you. What slavery is, man. We're going to show you, and you are going into hardcore captivity. You you messed up by putting your hands on the children of Israel, man. And you still got us over here captives today. Right? You guys shoot unarmed black men and women. We know that that's judgment. Right? But you devils, you went too far, man. You out there hunting Jake, right? And then turning around and decapitating him. Right, you guys are uh, 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 sellers in the sex, uh, uh, what do you call it, sex slave trades, right? Or what do you call them, sex rings? Yes, man. Right, you guys just throw us away in prisons and all of that. And it's the hands of you devil. Now, we know, right, that, you know, Esau works, you know, works for the Lord on the, on the left hand. Right, but again, you devils went too far, man. Right, and this same look that this Edomite right here is making, right? Wait till we get to the kingdom, man. We're gonna work the shit out of you, man. You're gonna work. You're gonna you. You're gonna do the fucking job, motherfucker. You're gonna do it. You're gonna take a plastic fork, right, and turn the big boulder into a little boulder, and a little boulder in the sand, man. Right, you're gonna get out there. You're gonna work in the sun from sun up. To sun up. The only day that you're going to have a day of rest on, right, is on the Shabbat, man. In the high holy days. Other than that, you devils, you're going to walk around here fearing, man. You're not going to be, and me personally, you're not going to be able to look up in my face, man. You're not going, the only thing you can look at is my feet. Right? And you're only going to see that when, I, when I'm sticking my foot in your ass, man. Right? The children of Israel are going to fuck you devils up in the kingdom, man. And I know, you know, my language and all that, but hey, man, just thinking about it all day. We're going to make you devils work. You're going to do it, bitch. You're going to do it, just like Apostle Tahar say, man. You're going to do it, right? When the Israelite woman, right, uh, 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 demands you devils, you're going to do it. And they're going to put their foot in your ass. Even the kids... You devils are in a lot of trouble, man. You guys are in a lot of trouble, and you have been found guilty on all charges. So you can live it up and prune your damn rose trees and all of that, or whatever the hell you do, right? Drive your Tesla cars, right? Go on your jog, on your jogs, watch, uh, you know, walking your damn uh, uh, labradoodles and all of that. You know, you devil, you you devils, then fucked up. By putting your hands on the apple of the Lord's eye, man, which are the children of Israel. You devils that messed up, we're going to make you work hard as hell. You think that we working hard now? Oh, no, 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 no. No. Wait till we get that spiritual power, man. We're going we to be beating y'all asses, man, with spiritual powers. That's right. You heard me, man. And we're going to have fun with it. Let's go ahead and grab some scriptures here. This is the book because you devils, you, you devils are guilty. You've been found guilty, man. Just like that clip I showed. Colossians chapter 3 verse 25. And Shalaki for me ranting, but you know, I was meditating on it all day. Colossians chapter 3 verse 25. Jumping straight to the point. 
But he that doeth wrong, right, shall receive the wrong which he have done. That's right. You doubles, you, do, you, you have done us wrong in the past, and you're doing us wrong now, man. You got the prophets of the Lord working, working their ass off. You know, and it all goes back to the curses. But again, it's at the hand of you devils. You walking around here and your damn dockers, right? And Jake is out there busting their ass for crumbs. You white people are finished. I hope you know that, man. And you see it. You got Edomites out there telling you that this place is finished. Your white women don't want nothing to do with you, uh, 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 do with you white men. Right? Making TikToks telling you, right, that once you go black, you'll never go back. Us, uh, some of the brothers gonna have uh, uh, Edomite concubines, right, in the kingdom of heaven, man. And we gonna have you, we gonna have you devils out there working your ass off in a way that you never thought that you would be able to work, man. We gonna work you until you die. Colossians 3, 25, but he that doeth wrong shall receive the wrong which he have done. You see that? So you're going to receive the wrong which you've done, man. And there is no respect of, that's right, right? We had to go into slavery and we're still in captivity. So yes, y'all so-called white, well, you really, you're not white, you're black. You niggas is going into slavery. And when I mean niggas, I'm talking about Esau, Edom. Because you the ultimate nigga, man. You think you did something to us by cracking, cracking the whip across our back? Oh, shit. Wait till we get that spiritual whip. We gonna hit you doubles one time and split your damn bodies in half. Yes, we are. The brother's gonna have fun. Putting, your, putting our foot in your asses every day, except the high holy days, man, and the Sabbath. So get ready for that. You've been found guilty of all charges. You white people done messed up, man. You really done messed up. So enjoy your whack ass, cigarette filled ass, trash, trash all over the place ass kingdom, man. You devils don't do nothing but completely destroy. You, you have destroyed the earth. You put chemtrails in the sky, right? So when it rains, which is acidic rain, falls down to the earth and the shit is all over the place. Aluminum, right? All kinds of shit. It's all in the food. It's in the water. Under the rule of you devils, you got fish out here that's jumping out of the ocean. And you think you a righteous ruler? You promote nothing but pedophilia, all of it, man. You want to give uh, uh, people the damn karagma so you can track where they are. What the fuck kind of devil are you, man? But it's okay because, you know, you're going to receive a uh, uh, worse, man. You're going to receive double. And no one is going to feel bad. And I'm going to tell you something. You niggas out there talking about you Israelites that feel bad for this devil. Right? You're going to have to die on this side with him, man. And you'll come back in the kingdom in your right mind. But I mean, what about the white man? What about him? The scriptures say he's going into slavery. So you devils, get ready for that, man. Get ready for hardcore servitude. Don't know what the word servitude means? Look it up. Exodus 21, 16. And he that still up a man. Who the hell stole men? When we was on the, on the west coast of Africa, who stole us, man? And brought us over here on cargo slave ships. Who did that? Now you devils out here trying to uh, 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 wipe away history. Out the history books. The Lord stirred up our imperial mind. We remember who the hell did it to us, man. You fucking white people And you white women You guys are not exempt You're not exempt at all 
and he that stealeth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. You hear that, man? You devils are guilty of that. You Edomites and fucked up. And you guys are going to get fucked up. And again, excuse my language, you know, it is what it is, man. Psalm 137, and I'm going to start at verse 8. O daughter of Babylon, who art, like, who art to be destroyed? Happy shall he be that reward of thee as thou hast served. Did you hear that, man? We're going to be happy to serve you devils, just like how you served us. Right? Let's keep going here. This was David saying this here, man. Let's keep going. You devils always like talking about the scriptures. Let's bring out the next verse. In Shalakia. You devils, you Edomite, you Edomite men and women, you guys are, you guys done fucked up. You fucked up. What's that mean? Right, you know you done fucked up, right? You done fucked up. So enjoy your nasty ass uh, rulership while it still lasts because it's falling apart. And vocab Malone, you know, that devil, if, if he's a eat, you going, oh my goodness, you going into slavery, man. Get used to bending over, right, and picking shit. Get used to it, man. Get used to uh, get ready to climb trees, all of it, man. Get used to this posture right here, man. And you, and you, if you ever see Edomites cry, it seems so in, it seems not sincere at all. You've been found guilty of all charges. Continuing on. Psalm 137, verse 9. Happy shall he be that dasheth thy little ones against the stones you see that i don't have to elaborate on this this is in the bible if you don't believe me pause the video open up your bible and read psalm 137 verse 9. this is what we're going to do to you devils you did it to us you hung the israelite woman from a damn tree right and cut the damn baby out of her stomach and stepped on her head man Right, you took the little ones, and, and, and you know what we know is just an inkling. It's probably all kind of shit that you've done. We know that you then took us and you know, our babies and fed them to alligators, and you know, tell them what other kind of animals, man. Lions and tigers, yeah, man. Sharks. There's a scene in the movie. Uh, what's that? Uh, Amistad, where you devils then tied ten Israelites together by a chain. And at the end of the chain was a rock and threw the rock overboard, man. And Jake went sliding right in the damn water, man, and went all the way to the bottom. And the scriptures also say that, uh, 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 how does that scripture go? Uh, uh, he death offended one of these little ones. It was better if he uh, hung a, a millstone around his neck and cast his. So you devils out there, man, right? You can try to commit suicide. But you're still going to be judged in the day of the Lord, man. You see that? You devils are going into hardcore slavery. And we're going to work your ass to the bones. The other heathen nations, right? They're going into slavery too, but they're going to have mercy. We're going to have, yeah, man. But, you, but not you Edomites. After a thousand hard, long, long, long years of servitude, you will all be rounded up and you will be destroyed. So this is what's going to happen to you devils here, man. Let's read, let's, let's read one more. Isaiah 14, 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their father. You see that, man? So there's a thing called reincarnation. 
So you're going to pay for the things that your fathers have done. You are, you are going to pay. That they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. You see that? So you devils, right? You devils are being prepared for the slaughter. You're being prepared for the slaughter. And all the brothers of the hopeful elect, right? And even the brothers that know that they're Israelites, we, we wait on this day, man. We wait to fuck you devils up, and you're going to get fucked up. You think that boat incident or that fight that happened out there with that damn miss, man, that ain't shit, man. That ain't shit. Wait till we get to the kingdom. You devils out there think that you're going to get to the kingdom. Is this going to be all? No, no, no. Get ready to work your asses off. Scrap this too. Isaiah 33, 18. Thy heart shall meditate terror. You see that? So yes, man. Like the brothers of the hopeful elect, our hearts, our minds meditate terror, man. And there's so many. I have so many things that I would like to do to you Edomites. I'm not going to name them, but yeah, man. You devil's going to wish. You go... You're going to wish that you were dead when we get to the kingdom. When we get our hands on you and when them chains go around your neck, when them yokes of iron go around in your neck, oh my goodness, it's going to suck to be an Edomite in that day. It's going to suck. Continuing on, where is the scribe? Where is the receiver? Where is, the, where is he that count of the top? So the point was, right? We meditate terror on you devils. You're going to go out there and you're going to work your ass off. You're going to do it, you bitches. And no one is going to feel bad for you fucked up by putting your hands on the children of Israel. Men, women, and children. And you're still doing it today. But it's okay because you're going to receive double for what the hell you've done. You done messed up putting your hands on the children of Yasha Allah, man. You see that? So you devils, you've been found guilty on all charges. And it's just one Edomite. Wait till the Lord come back here, man. All you Edomites. If you're an Edomite, you're going into slavery, Period. It ain't no uh, uh, peace, brother. No, it ain't no peace, damn it. Right? We're going to be breaking our asses into pieces. You Edomites are in a lot of trouble. You Edomites are in a lot of damn trouble. A lot of goddamn trouble. Until the next time I say, Shalom.